Hello everybody, welcome to the Jolman Show where today I review the Nerf Jolt in see-through green and see-through orange. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Joel Homie, your guys' host for today's video where I review the Nerf Jolt in Sonic Green and Sonic Orange. This video will be following the same guidelines as my recent review video, starting with a box overview, unboxing, instruction overview, item overview, and since these are Nerf guns, a very quick firing demo and FPS rating talk over. So let's go ahead and start with the box overview, and, and since these are both identical, I'm just going to go ahead and pick up the Sonic Orange, and here on the front, if you'd like to pause and read, you can go ahead, but anyway, we have our age recommendation, which is 8 years and up, and then there is the back, once again, if you would like to pause and read, and then here on the right and left side, there are not really much of anything to see here's the bottom much smaller print if you'd like to pause and read once again so there is the package and then with the the sonic jolt this one is identical so this one is made in india which is interesting because usually they're made in china you can see made in india once again but anyway so the boxes are identical and to unbox these all you have to do is grab some sharp item like my ozark trail multi-tool right here so i have the knife popped out right there and i'll go ahead and take a look at the back of the package and we can go ahead and just cut some pieces of tape right there and then this should just slide off kids never cut towards yourself as i've just done here something you should never do and then this will just sort of pop off for you although might i mention there are actually some sections of the package that are glued to it so you'll have to cut around some of those spots like down here and once you do that you can go ahead and just peel that off and as i said some sections are glued so you probably have a good chance of destroying the package but anyway here is our very beautiful sonic orange jolt and the glorious elite dots with that nice logo there on the front there you can see the nerf logo is printed right there on the front or molded actually is the proper term in this case and then i'll go ahead and quickly unbox this one and here we have this one open once again the box is going to get a little bit messed up and then there's our very beautiful sonic jolt and Two more glorious elite dots with the nice logo molded into the front and might i mention like everybody that has a jolt or mostly everybody that has a jolt i do have many different variations like the sonic fire and sonic ice version i have the older elite version with the orange trigger as well as the gray trigger i have this version which is sort of like the one that mimics the classic which i have done the removal of the dot post and air restrictor mod that's why it sounds a lot more uh clicky than a normal one as you can see there this is actually my first jolt and then this is one of the micro shots this is the hammer shot so this a uh, lot of reskins as you can see although of the two this one is probably my new favorite because i love the sonic green that nerf does but anyway with that being said let's go ahead and pull out the little instruction here and we'll go ahead and take a very quick look at that but in this case the instruction that we have been looking for is actually printed onto the back so all the same information that you usually find in a normal instruction book is actually placed here on the back of the package with all the cautions and how to use the blaster with that nice visual right there or the diagram but anyway that is put on both ones so this is for the sonic and then the other one of course is printed in orange to match the orange one but anyway now let's go ahead and start with the item overview so this part i'm not going to focus on a awful too much because i'm sure a lot of you already know what the jewel looks like and what it is but for those of you that don't it has a very simplistic design here you've got your barrel you can see the air restrictor in there got some nice grippiness around here got the nerf logo and the rest of your grip around there here is your priming handle you can pull the trigger to release that and that will of course um, fire off your dot as shown here there you go and then as for the other one it is exactly the same but of course it is molded in a different color and then might i note real quick that like usual you don't have the nerf logo actually the jolt 
um, name right here. You have your typical bunch of cautions and stuff, which is put on the blaster after it's already been put on the box, which I find a bit annoying, but I have a feeling that we will never get away from Nerf's ways. But anyway, now that we've gotten that done and over with, let's go ahead and do a quick firing demo and go over the FPS rating. Right, so let's go ahead and start this firing demo by simply just starting with the Sifu Orange Jolt, or the Sonic Orange, by slipping in one of the new dots. Go ahead and prime it, and we'll go ahead and fire it in this general direction. There you go. Had a bit of power. We'll do that one more time. There you go. And then we'll do it again with the Nerf Sonic Jolt. But we'll go ahead and I'll let you guys take a look at what's going on inside the jolt. So when you push the door in, you can see it going through there. You can see the air restrictor engage. And when you prime this, you can see that the plunger moving down with that spring. And then it has been discovered that this blaster can actually not take a creator any six, which is a very powerful form of spring. So there you go. Now that goes once more. And then once again, with all that going into action, and a quick tip, never leave a Nerf Blaster primed because you will slowly wear down the spring and that will slowly ruin your blaster. And just to show you that I'm not playing any quick tricks, I'll go ahead and do it with the normal jolt, which you can see here. Slip that in. And this is one of the older Nerf dorts that doesn't have the logo on the front. And as you can see here, you prime the same way. You fire it the same way. The zombie shot jolt with this little thing that hold dorts and aim doesn't work, but... You put the door in, you aim, you fire. Same goes for this one, only except this is my modified version. So yeah, you can actually see here the door going in with the light reflecting through. And then you can hear the prime does not sound as soft. And the firing actually is not as soft either. And then here's one of the actual reskins that doesn't look like a jolt, but it does share the same internals as discovered by many, 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 many people just by simply looking at it. But what I mean by it looks different is it's meant to look like a Nerf Hammer Shot, which if you haven't seen a Nerf Hammer Shot, here's a normal sized one. So you can see that the Micro Shot series is just meant to represent a normal one, but in a jolt form. So you can just slip that in, and this is the same thing. So you prime it, you try it. But anyway, so there is that. So of course, these are probably my new couple of favorites. Of course, the Sonic one being my favorite, but I do like red. It's my favorite color, so orange is definitely another one of the colors that I like. If you guys enjoyed the video...